anti shapewear. Today we are reviewing Airy Smooths. In my head, I've been calling it smoothies. So let me know in the comments down below. Have you been calling it smooths or smoothies? We'll probably be calling it both in this video. Anyways, Airy just came out with a new anti shapewear line, which raises a few questions. First of all, what is anti shapewear? So we did a little digging, and Airy is saying that smooths breaks the shapewear stigma, celebrate your body instead of flattening it, soft and supportive materials creates the perfect base for any outfit. So they call it anti shapewear because it doesn't suck you in, doesn't squeeze you, and doesn't change your shape. It just enhances and makes you feel good. Sounds good to me. I feel like we should be getting away from the idea that we have to be squishing ourselves into undergarments in order to fit into clothes. Because it's okay to not have a flat belly in a bodycon dress. It's okay to not constantly have the tiniest waist and biggest hips you know, Kardashian-esque. I feel like Ari is always trying to send the right message. They've always been pretty well known for not retouching their models. And I feel like when you scroll on their website, they always have a pretty good range of body shapes. So as someone who likes super stretchy clothing, but not necessarily, you know, not being able to breathe like the Skims bodysuit that we had tried, this does sound good to me. It sounds kind of like, you know, seamless underwear that you'll wear under clothing. So that if you are wearing something more form-fitting on top, you're not going to get like bra lines cutting in, underwear lines in a I do, I do hate underwear lines. And kind of going along with Yitty shapewear, which we also reviewed on this channel, they do have neutral options, but there's definitely a lot of bold, bright colors. So I feel like these are kind of almost like meant to be seen in some way, because why else would you have a neon green sports bra if you weren't trying to have it be seen at some point? So it's a little confusing as like an undergarment line that's such brightly colored. Like, are we trying to have it seen? Are we trying to wear this by itself? Which, you know, I'm all for it. But I will say some of the Airy Smooths today come in multiple different shades of neutral colors to fit different skin tones. So I feel like they kind of got both ways. So I got a giant box for like not that much stuff. I did purchase all of this on my own. This is not sponsored. So let's jump right into it. So first we have the Airy Smooths padded bralette. So they had a bunch of different bras ranging from like actual molded underwire pads to kind of like in between like molded cups and classic clasp back but no underwire and then super thin bralette style bras with no lining at all. So I got basically all of the bras that they offered. I think I got almost everything except for some of the underwear because it's just like kind of hard to review and try that on on the channel here. But we got the bras. So we're trying out the smooth padded bralette first. This one is $39.95 but keep in mind Aerie is like pretty easy to find sales so I wouldn't recommend buying things full price because you can always find a sale somehow. So this bra in particular as well as some of the other ones. It doesn't come in like band and cup sizes. It came in like 2XS to 2XL, but some of the sizes had like small, then small D, then small double D. So I went with the small double D. My measurements are always down below, but generally I wear a 32 double to triple D in bras. So I'd say it's like a pretty inclusive size range, not quite as inclusive as having actual like banded cup sizes. And these ones only go up to a double D, which has never made sense to me because I have seen statistics like multiple times that the average cup size, at least in the United States, is actually a double D. So why would we stop? At a double D. Okay, so these are not actually molded cups. So this is a nylon elastane blend that has like thickened raw cut edges. So you're definitely getting that almost like seamless underwear in bra form. Straps are sewn on and they're also adjustable and they do have a real hook closure in the back. So that allows for a little bit of adjustability, which is nice. And the cut pads are removable. Personally, I would not remove them because I don't really like to have nippage problems. So I do prefer a cut pad, but a molded cup would be even better. And here is the material close up. You can see the thickened material at the edges. So you are getting that seamless edge without having a seam that could cut into you. So let's try this one on. Okay, so I like how soft this one is. Um, definitely going to fit a variety of cup sizes with just one size here, probably because it feels really mostly like a sports bra and most sports bras only come in like small, medium, large kind of sizing. So the small here works for me. I put it on the loosest hook again. I love that it has the hooks, especially since this isn't a sports bra. Like I know I'm not gonna be like laying on a bench, bench pressing, so I don't, I'm not really worried about the hooks. Cause in my daily life, the hooks on the back of my bra really don't bother me. So straps, 
are kind of classic elastic here and they are adjustable. Um, loving how soft this is. And even though the bottom isn't like a harsh elastic that would cut into you, it remains like super smooth. It just has a little more structure to it. So it is really feeling nice and secure. What I'm not loving about this one is the removable cups. I just think they look really obvious. They're gonna shift around a little bit. And I think in a bra like this, just would have preferred a molded cup kind of built in thing. This isn't a sports bra, but like support is about like light to medium. It's not crazy. Coverage I would say is medium to full. Um, if this isn't a bra that I would be falling out of like some of the triangle bralettes and I have good side boob coverage. But yeah, so far I feel like they're doing a really good job of having seams that are very smooth and not cutting in, at least for the tops. And here's a slightly better view of the back. Next we have a confusing item for me. This is the smooth crop top bralette. So I don't know how this is like a crop top and a bralette. I thought maybe it would have a built-in bra on the inside, but it does not. So just for thinness sake, I am going to wear something underneath this while trying it on because it's very thin and pretty sheer as well. I can definitely see a lot of light coming through this. So this is more of like a sleek material, super thin, very soft. And I guess they're kind of calling it a bralette because it does have an elastic along the bottom. So potentially a little support under there with that, but I wouldn't really call this a bra, but it's a good option if you just want to wear a little crop and not have to wear anything underneath it. And you know that you're going to be secure because it has that elastic. There's no risk of it sliding up. But if you're going to wear it for that purpose, for me, it's just like a little bit thin. I would have preferred something thicker. And here's this material close up super thin, super soft, and the sleeves are raw cut, so they shouldn't fray. Okay, so surprisingly, this little top actually does provide like a decent amount of like containment. So I see what they were meaning by calling this like a bralette. So I did throw in just like some extra cut pads that I had into this so that I could actually review it. It does not come with cut pads, but I had to include them because this is very sheer. So you could see the whole nip through this. So just keep that in mind. Some people have no problem with wearing something kind of sheer like that, showing some nip. It's just out of my personal comfort zone, but I feel like this really kind of rounded out the girls in a way. This little elastic at the bottom, um, it's pretty stretchy and soft, but it actually just provides like enough support there. It's still not like super supportive. It's something like a light support. But if I were just to like throw this on to lounge around the house, I would be perfectly comfortable or even sleeping. That's actually, that's a thought because I do like a little support while sleeping. Super thin material. There is a seam like along the little crew neck here, seamless along the arms. So it's not cutting in there. I could see this being worn underneath like a tighter, like long sleeve shirt or something like that because you wouldn't have any seams like on the sleeves or even like around the bust area, but you still do almost get like the support of a bra. So I thought this was kind of a crazy option, but it's not bad. And here is the back just fully on. It's just very basic, seamless. Next, we're going for no lining at all. This is the Smooth's Mesh Bralette. So this one I will have to try on with another bra underneath it because it is mesh and it is sheer. So definitely not gonna be nippage proof or anything like that. And this one has slightly thinner straps. So I'm just feeling like less support in general. This one only came in like extra, extra small to 2XL. So there are no like multiple cup sizes. So questionable whether or not I will fit into this comfortably. This one has no hook closure. So if you find that to be comfortable. This might be like a slightly better choice. Still have adjustable straps and you have kind of the smooth brushed material around the band and then you also have the actual mesh. So here are the materials close up. The band is this actually pretty soft, smooth, almost like a brushed legging material. And then you have the mesh on the actual bust part. Let's try it on. So I threw on the little T underneath this, which I feel like is kind of part of their whole little thing anyway. They were like advertising wearing these things in layers like this, which it's giving like, I don't know why it gives me like old school, like Hannah Montana vibes. You know, when they wore like t-shirts under their like spaghetti strap tops or whatever. I did take some fashion inspo from Miss Hannah Montana herself, but that was not one of them. Anyways, here's the little mesh bralette and I can tell the little top clearly not very opaque. You can see that my girls go all the way to the midline here. So the mesh bralette, unfortunately not large cup size friendly. I would not even begin to fit in these tiny little um, little triangles. So I'd be experiencing some major spillage. Obviously I can't show that because that's how sheer this top is. These little seams at the edge are also pretty stiff as well. So those would kind of like cut into me a bit. So I wish they came out with this bralette in like the small D, double D kind of thing because this is only like the base size and it's just not going to be good for anyone like above a D cup. So keep that in mind. Other than that, 
loving this bottom band. It's actually very stretchy. Some of the other bras were a little bit stiffer in the bottom band. This one, while it's thick, it's got a lot of give to it. Color's super cute. These thin straps, for me, they probably would cut in a little bit. Um, I really like how this like scoops around. It's not a triangle that's just sewn in a straight line. It has like a really nice like, you know, anatomic bust shape. So loving that. This one is a kind of like pull over the head style. So there's no clasp in the back. Um, but I would say in terms of like band size, pretty true to size. I wear a 32 band size and this is the small. Next, we got another neon. So this is the Smooths bra-ish wireless bralette. So this one actually has molded cups, which I love to see molded cups. I just feel like they're a lot better than a removable cup pad because you're never gonna get cup pad outlines because it's actually molded into the bra. So this one I also got in the size small double D, so it does come in those like regular small D, small double D sizes. So this one has a hook closure on the back with four hook options, so lots of good adjustability there. Pretty thick straps as well, and they're also adjustable and it's definitely more of like a bandeau style shape so more coverage than a typical bra that like dips down a little bit more in the front and the edges are a bonded edge so there's no harsh seams and this one also is made of that like super soft brush material it's like if you had a lululemon align in bra form so here's a little close-up hopefully you can see it is slightly brushed here are the hooks and then you can also see the bonded edge there okay so here's this bra um i do tend to prefer like a slightly less bandeau style shape for the bras. So I liked the shape of the other bra, but I like that this one does have the molded pads. So the issue with the pads that weren't molded is I feel like the whole point of this collection is to be seamless under clothing. And if you're having like a cup pad line that kind of sticks out, it's not very seamless. So this is much smoother, more seamless. It does have like this little section at the bottom, but overall definitely much smoother. Miss Peach just woke up from her nap. She'd been very snugly lately because we were out of town for a little bit and she missed us. We love you, Miss Peach. So yeah, adjustable straps. The straps are a little bit wide. Um, I don't know if I just have like more narrow shoulders. I don't really feel like I do. But an issue with the straight up and down straps, a lot of the time for me is that they slide off. So even the bra I was wearing earlier today, the straps, they fall off all the time and it gets like super annoying. So nice and secure at the bottom. It is a little bit snug down here. So there is a possibility of it cutting in slightly just because the bonded edge seam can be a little more stiff than the rest. Another reason I like this one as more of like a home lounge bralette situation is that I do have some bralettes that are more triangle shape. And if I'm like lying down horizontally on my couch, I tend to have one of the girls escape. So with this style of bra, I'm much more contained. And it just definitely does feel like a little bit of a step up from a sports bra. So they had a lot of underwear options ranging from like thong to literally like full on bike shorts as underwear, which kind of a great idea, honestly, because sometimes you just want a little more coverage and like, especially at home. I don't know, I could definitely see myself like sleeping in something like this, being super comfortable. Airy is like my go-to sleep underwear. But anyway, all of their underwear looks like that super thin kind of rock cut edge style, at least for some of the lesser coverage bottoms. This one is a slightly different story. We do have an actual hem on the bottom. This material feels pretty similar to that crop bralette. Oh, it's actually a recycled nylon spandex blend. So super thin. So I am going to try this on with my own underwear underneath, but who cares if your underwear is sheer because it's, it's literally underwear. It does have an elastic band on the top. Luckily it's like pretty soft and doesn't feel super stiff, but could possibly cut into you and be a little uncomfortable. There are seams and everything. They seem to be pretty Pretty stretchy. Let's try it on. Okay, so I did get a small in this because that's what size I normally wear in like airy shorts and it's not fitting me great. Also, yes, I am wearing my own underwear underneath. You can see these are not fully opaque, but you know, it's underwear, who cares? So it's giving granny panties a little bit, but honestly, like, why not? This is something I would totally sleep in if it was a little more comfortable. So you can see they are squishing my thighs a little bit. The seam at the bottom is super tight. So really not very thick thigh friendly. I wanted these to be just like super stretchy and they definitely are lacking some stretch. They had stretch for like the first couple inches, but then I don't know, maybe I just need a size up or something. So I would say that these run a little bit small. So I definitely would consider a size up. Um, super high rise, this little elastic waistband is not cutting into me, so that's good. I just feel like it's not stretching enough on like the back of the glutes here and at the bottom of the thighs. So this material 
is just not really doing it for me. The other underwear that we'll talk about later does not have any seams, so it's a rock cut edge. So I have a feeling that will be better because there won't be any seams to cut into me. But yeah, um, definitely a very lightweight sleek material. So even though they're definitely like a super full coverage, they're going to be very thin still, so they're not gonna overheat you or anything. I don't know what else to say about these, so we're moving on. Okay, we got a couple more things. We really focus on the bras in this haul because bras can be really tough. So we got the microfiber triangle bralette. So this one only came in like full sizes again, so I got a size small. Super thin, so you're only gonna have slightly more coverage than the mesh version of the bralette. Very soft, thin material. This one does have an elastic along the bottom, but they're doing a really good job of making sure the elastics like don't have any harsh seams that are gonna come in. So I can imagine all this stuff would be pretty comfortable. We do have the bra hook closure in the back, little adjustable straps. And yeah, here is a close up. As you can see, it's pretty thin. You can see my finger through it. So I wouldn't expect a lot of opacity. And then here is the elastic on the bottom. It's lined with like a softer material. All right, so here's this bralette. Definitely a little bit more coverage than the mesh bralette because it has a little bit more right here. The mesh bralette went like all the way down. Personally, I think the mesh bralette is a little bit cuter because this one's like totally sheer anyway so might as well go for the mesh which by the way this was a very fine soft mesh so very comfortable i also like how the mesh one had like a little scooping along the bottom and this one is just flat across this one feels almost more like an athletic material so if you did want to wear it as a sports bra i could totally see that as an option keep in mind with these like bralette ones there's no place to even put in any cut pads if you wanted to so i feel like that would have been a good option or even just double lining them to make them a little less sheer this one does have hook closure in the back as well as adjustable straps so threw some cut pads in here again these don't come with cut pads i just threw them in in, and I am experiencing a little bit of spillage, but definitely more large cup size friendly than the mesh bra. So if you have like a D, double D, you could get away with this. Um, it's just not gonna be super supportive, but it could work. Okay, then the bra I'm probably most excited for because I'm a psycho who likes underwear bras. I just find them really comfortable and really supportive. And I love feeling, I love feeling nice and supported. You guys know with my sports bras, the more compression, the better. So this is the full coverage, lightly lined bra. And this one did come in full bra sizes. I got my normal 32 triple D. So this one is definitely a full coverage bra. I have another one of my bras right here. And I didn't really think this one was a demi cup, but it does feel like this one's going to be a little more coverage. So this is super soft. I've never had a bra that's in this like brush material before. So definitely excited. I also love how seamless this is again. It has those bonded edges like the last bras. I think I've tried airy bras like in the past, but I never really loved them. So I hope these work for me, but yeah, nice thicker straps, fully adjustable all the way around. And then here is the material. As you can see, it's slightly brushed, super soft. Okay, so here's the bra. And I'm a little bit bummed because this is the only underwear bra in the collection and I really like the material. But for me, full coverage bras, they just aren't always a good fit. I definitely have more fullness in like the bottom half of my bust and not so much the top half. So I'm filling it out like down here, but when it comes to the top, just like a teeny bit of gaping. And I also feel like we're getting a little bit of like pointiness going on here. So if you have kind of like a fuller upper bust and you like a full coverage bra, I do think this is actually pretty comfortable. It's sitting well on like my sternum here. The straps have like a little bit of grippiness to them. So I think they'll stay up well. I like that the straps are fully adjustable all the way around because I have this third love bra and I love this one, but it's only adjustable halfway up the strap because the second half of the strap has like this little like folded section. I love this bra, but this is the dumbest thing ever. Like, why would you not just make it adjustable? So I like that. I did put it on the loosest hook here. You're generally supposed to start out with the loosest hook so that as the bra stretches out over time, which all bras kind of do, you just go to the smaller hooks from then on. But yeah, I feel like it all sits very smoothly on me and this is really stretchy around here. So it's not like cutting into any back fat or anything. So yeah, generally a comfortable bra, just not right for my specific like breast shape, but I wish they came out with like a demi cup or something because this material, very soft. Okay, another pair of bottoms. We got the No Show Extra Mid-Rise Cheeky Underwear. So as suspected, these are just a raw cut edge, super thin. I like the idea of like a super thin raw cut edge underwear in theory, but we have done a full video on like the best no show underwear. If you have not seen that video, make sure to check it out. But anyways, sometimes these like no show underwear that actually has a raw cut edge, the edge doesn't really like hold on to you well enough and it ends 
up rolling and then you actually get like a worse line. So this kind of underwear doesn't tend to be my fave, but we're willing to try it out. So I got a nice full coverage one for the video here, but this is very lightweight. The gusset has a sewn in cotton section, which most underwear does. I did get a size medium in these because I tend to wear a medium in most of my airy underwear. And here is a little rock cut edge. Okay, so here are the bottoms. Definitely much better with this rock cut edge. It's no longer like cutting into me anywhere. So these are also pretty good coverage, not quite as high rise as like the boy short ones, but probably like mid to high rise. And you just have these seams along the side, that's it but you can kind of see my issue here. So with cheekies, these are like a really good option if you do want a more full coverage underwear option under leggings and not see any seams. I find the airy underwear is usually pretty good for that. But like, as you can see on the front here, they do kind of roll up because it is just that little rock cut edge. So you would be getting some gathering and some lines here. So for that reason, this style of underwear is not my fave. I also wish there was a seam up the back so that it like, settled between the glutes a little more because or else it just kind of like flattens over which makes it hard to wear something like leggings that do have a seam there solid underwear these definitely aren't beating out my favorite airy underwear which are like the real me underwear those ones do have seams but they're like super stretchy and I just prefer those to these raw cut edges. And lastly, we have the padded racerback bralette. So the padded bralette came in like small D double D. This one only comes in full sizes. So I just got a small. This one also does not have molded cut pads. It has removable cups but all of the seams are raw cut edge. Kind of similar to like that crop top bralette. So this one does race your back, let's try it on. Okay, so kind of surprised by this one. First of all, I thought this one was going to be very difficult to get on because it's like high neck racer back and no adjustable bra hooks in the back. But it was surprisingly easy to get on because it's super stretchy. But to that effect, it is also like just not really containing me very well. Like super light support like this looks like it could be a sports bra but there's just no compression or hold to it which i guess was kind of the whole point of this like smooth slime but most of the other things today i felt like have held me in a little bit better because you can be like held in without being squished or like shaped so anyways this is like a very light support sports bra i would consider this more of a sports bra it's not really supposed to be one but whenever i see a high neck racer back like this I'm not thinking like day-to-day -day bra, I'm thinking sports bra. So it's got the seamless edge at the bottom, which has a little more structure to it, but it's not as snug as some of the last ones. I would say consider a size down or just size down if in between. This one is definitely more large cup size friendly. Um, it does scoop away from the armpits a little bit. So there is a little risk of side boob. Again, this one has removable cups, so they can kind of shift a little bit and I can definitely feel the seam lines, but the benefit of this one is that the straps will never come off. So if you're wearing something like a t-shirt, this would be super seamless under that. And you wouldn't see it anyway because t-shirts have full coverage. So yeah, this one's not my fave. I do like this little forest green color, but yeah, in terms of a regular bra, wouldn't be my pick. So that's it for the review. I will say if you're not someone who likes a traditional underwire bra, there are a lot of really good options in terms of like almost an underwire bra to totally like barely there bralette options in this collection. I'm usually a fan of airy underwear, but some of the actual like underwear bottoms for this collection weren't really my favorite just for personal choice. And I definitely think that they could improve on like cup size options in terms of the tops. Like Aerie is a huge brand and I know several smaller brands that are offering more cup size options than Aerie is. So they definitely have the bandwidth to do so. So there really should be no reason why the bralettes only come in like small, medium, large type sizing. So leave your thoughts down below. What do you think of this collection? What do you think of like the anti-shapewear thing? I feel like this is really just more of like a bright, fun undergarment line that's like very seamless rather than like anti-shapewear. But you know, marketing, that's part of the reason why I bought this anyway. So as always, leave any video requests in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.